Shares of Foot Locker rising on better than expected earnings and comp store sales. The retailer also offering an upbeat outlook for the rest of the year. And joining us right now, first on CNBC, is Foot Locker CEO Mary Dillon. You saw the shares up sharply since this. Uh, Mary, congratulations. Uh, I think the street was looking very closely to see signs of this turnaround that you've been working on pretty hard. What did you see over the course of the quarter? Yeah, well, first of all, we're really pleased to have a solid start to the year. Our comps and our gross margins in line with expectations and our EPS ahead of expectations. Um, importantly, as we went through the quarter, we saw our comps start to improve, strengthen, I would say, from February into March and April, even as we're moderating promotions. So, so you want to see that. And, and also globally, our Foot Locker and Kids Foot Locker comp was positive, plus 1%. So feel really good about that. And to me, this is just signs that our lace-up plan is working. I mean, we're looking at your shares right now up 14%. Mm -hmm. We just reported Kohl's that came in with disappointing sales, and they said that they had really struggled with both clothing and uh, footwear sales over the course. What did you see with the consumer that the yeah, other I'd places say are missing? Maybe a couple of things. One is that as our lace plan is starting to work, a couple of the highlights are we're investing in our brand. You know, Foot Locker is an iconic 50-year-old company and 50 year and global brand. And so we're investing in our first ever global brand campaign. It's called the Heart of Sneakers, celebrates our stripers, uh, investing in NBA sponsorship, a program called The Clinic in partnership with Nike and Jordan brand. So those are all things that I think are really bringing uh, currency, relevancy, connection to basketball. Secondly, um, our brand partnerships are really reinvigorated. Feel very excited about what our brands are offering and our co-marketing. And thirdly, we're improving the customer journey in every step of the way. So from a better digital experience to a better in-store experience. So we're refreshing our fleet over time. And the best expression is a store we just opened up a couple weeks ago here. And it's in Wayne, New Jersey, in the Willowbrook Mall. Uh, we opened up a second one of these new stores, a new concept in Paris today in, in time for the Olympics. And we have three more coming. One will be on 34th Street uh, soon. So anyway, so what we're trying to do is really bring together across the, all the dynamics of the right product assortment, the right marketing, investing in the right customer experience, and, and it's working right now. Not too long ago, during the pandemic, people were looking at it and thinking, okay, uh, Foot Locker and other retailers are, are going to have serious struggles because brands like Nike are going direct to consumer. And that's going to mean that these uh, other stores are less and less relevant. You've talked a lot about building brands. What do you do with those brands? How do you see them as a competitor? How do you see them as a friend and a partner? Well, first of all, I would say the notion of shopping in-store and online is here to stay, especially for certain consumer categories. So for sneakers at Foot Locker, people love the in-store experience, whether it's you know trying on a shoe or getting advice from a striper, but also the convenience. The stripers are the, the, the our, store our, associates. Our teams, yeah, because they have striped shirts. You got it. You got it. So, so, so for us. Like referees. It, yeah. like, yes, and that is really the heart and soul of our brand, are really our store team. They really understand and love this category and are really looked as, at as experts. Um, listen, Nike is our largest brand partner. We're thrilled about our relationship. I'd say it's reinvigorated in a lot of ways. I was just in Paris at their Innovation Summit. I think they've got some exciting things today and coming in the future as we get into the Olympics and into next year. I'm wearing the uh, the new DN shoe, the Air Max DN, in a beautiful colorway. It's a wonderful shoe. So, uh, you know, I would. I don't just think we can get it unless you throw your foot up on the. <laughs> well, I could do that if you guys want me to. I mean, I've done crazier things here before, but you know, listen, we are really a house of brands. Our customers care about having access to the best in the sneaker world. And so Nike, you know, feel great about our partnership. Even, like I said, this program called The Clinic, which is all about basketball. But, you know, there's a lot of exciting innovation happening. Adidas, a global trend that's happening around fashion and around the terrace, the Tito or the, I guess I would call it the Samba. Mm -hmm. uh, the nickname is the Tito. We have a, a program right now that's really about showing people how they can dress from the sneaker up. You know, New Balance is on fire. You know, people really looking for that heritage lifestyle running kind of look, um, Hoka and on. So there's a lot of innovation. And, and our job really is to bring it forth for our brand partners in the best way to our customers. And we have a unique customer group. We've got a young, diverse, trend-setting group. And, and, and I think that matters for our, our, our brands. Why are you um, so confident about what you see with the consumer for the rest of the year? There have been so many questions yeah. about the consumer. Yeah. Other places where they're like, ah, we don't know if the consumer will hang in yes. there. You are actually looking at, at saying you're going to have positive comps for the year up 1 yes. to 3%. We're guiding 1 to 3% positive comps. So let me just kind of parse that apart. The customer is, has been under pressure. So there's no question about that. Prolonged inflation, you know, interest rates that affects everything from your house payment to your student loan payment. 
uh, less savings, right? So that's all true, but people tend to have discretionary categories that they care about. So if you care about sneakers, you know, our job is to offer up the best in the best way. You know, people, if you care about sneakers, you're really into sneakers. If you care about beauty, you're really into beauty. So, so what we've seen is that our customers are willing to pay full price. They're going to be really um, picky about when they spend their money and how. But for the right products at the right time, Mother's Day, Father's Day, back to school holiday, you know, we're seeing our customers respond. So we also have several things coming still that we think help support why we believe we can grow, you know, in our, in our control. So we've got um, our new, we're relaunching our loyalty program, FLX, to make it much broader and more appealing. And loyalty programs are really important. Uh, we're launching a new mobile app to make it really that much easier to connect with us. Uh, we're going to continue refreshing stores, and our brands have lots of innovation coming. So we put that all together, and we feel good about the, the guidance, uh, and we'll watch the customer, but we think we've got the right things at the right time for them. Uh, no, when she... Questions? I, no, you could... I used to work, I used to sell shoes. So those are the shoes that you could put out on display, and they fit on you, I see. In other words, they'd never put your shoes out because it'd be like no one would buy those gondolas if you, if you put those in. What are those? Size, the, size, are your size, okay. are your size seven, six and a half? Eight. Eight. Six and a half in men's, eight in women's. Okay. You, you know what I mean? So you, you don't want... I'm if, 11 and a half, 12, depending listen, on They do not put, That's why you can go in and say, wow, I like the looks, and then they bring it out for you and it's like, oh my great. God, I'm going to steal that is, these. That's fine, but, but listen, Shane I know he loves feet. sneakers. I yeah. love sneakers. Big feet. I love sneakers. I have a slightly means, different question, which is... We are talking socks. about Nike, right? Adidas, on Hoka. Do you, is there a different uh, margin for each of those shoes? Meaning, do some of those companies come to you and say, I'll sell you the shoe, but you're going to have to take, you know, only, only you know, X. Listen, we don't, we don't disclose what our, our, right. our terms are with our brand partners, but listen, we feel very good about it. I mean, obviously, there's a range of price points even within what we sell, right? right. So we manage that. We manage that to make sure it's the right offering and the right price for our guests, and we manage the margin structure across the total business. Is there one brand right now that you think, I know they're all your, your, your children or your friends or your frenemies or whatever it is, but is there anybody <laughs> you like, okay watch this space. These guys are doing something very interesting right I, now. I, I, I really do think there's a lot happening across a lot of spaces. No, so it's all our kids.